you're watching Fridays here at Backyard Tech. I am in no way, shape or form a fully qualified mechanic. Therefore, if you are following along with this service repair and or information video, you are doing this at your own risk. So you have been warned. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Fridays here at the Backyard Tech Channel and it is 80 series time here. And as you just saw, the new disclaimer is up and I wanna thank Drone Flying Northwest for that idea because it does make it a little easier. Um, going through more of my emails overnight and I saw an 80 series question uh, from a viewer who wanted to know what air filter I run, where's my snorkel and would I put a k and pod filter in replacement of this? Well, let's get the uh, second question out of the road first. No, I'm not putting a pod filter or a custom air box on my 80 series. So that's that answers that question straight away. Not gonna happen, all right? Number one, I can't justify uh, the price of a K&N air filter for this. Number two, I can't justify creating a custom air box and putting a pod filter on it to match the mass block on this thing. So no, 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 and no, that sorts that problem out. Let's go back to the first question, snorkel and what air filter I am running. Well, the simple reason I haven't got a snorkel on the, on the old girl is I don't have the money. It's as simple as that, I don't have the money, right? That's, the, that's, that's number one, all right? Now, with the 80 series, doesn't matter whether it's diesel or petrol, snorkel goes up this side of the uh, um, car, right? So for my Australian viewers, it's up the driver's side or anyone that drives on the right-hand side of the vehicle. It's up the right-hand side of the car, okay? So in the airbox itself, I am running a good quality, believe it or not, Repco air filter. Uh, which, when I have been off-road in this thing, has been very good. It very rarely gets clogged up. Um, I blow, I hit it with the air compressor probably once every six months. Um, I've already done it uh, for June. I'll do it in December again. Um, but I haven't had any problems with that air filter in any way, shape, or form. I've had, once I'd fixed the butterfly valve on the mass block, that was all good and fixed the... Um, terminal block on top of it as well just going back to the second question regarding a custom air box and a K&N pod filter on this thing no I'm not going to bother doing that for crying out loud I'm not into major modifications when it comes to this vehicle okay I'm overdoing all that type of stuff now all right I'm 39 years old this is not going to be a high performance vehicle this is my daily driver as well as an off-roader all right so I can't justify the price of a K&N filter. Number two, I wouldn't even put a pod filter on this thing. Number three, I'm not going to bother with a custom air box. Number four, I would love to get a snorkel on it. Yes, granted. Number five, the Repco air filter that I've got in there is perfectly fine. There's actually no problem with it. So I'm not going to bother. You know, I don't need, I don't need that. I mean, look... When you buy a four, when I think of buying, you know, a four B, I don't think of doing high modifications to the motor. Okay, the one FZFE is a damn strong petrol engine. It was designed to be a rugged, rough motor. It's not a high revving engine. Okay, it's a low slug and low revving, torquey petrol motor. Now, for a snorkel, yes, I would love to have the money to put a snorkel up here. But it wouldn't be one of these funky custom stainless steel snorkels either. If I can squeeze through my big fat guts. All right, it would just be your standard safari snorkel with the pod facing that way. Um, I know the whole thing now is, is to get these stainless steel um, snorkels and so that you don't get a massive air induction noise as you drive because you've got to remember as you drive you're forcing air down the snorkel and into the air box the thing is now is you get these custom stainless steel tubes that go up your um uh, uh my mind's gone blank go up here i can't think of what this is called the mind's gone blank go up here and then the outlet faces either back down the vehicle or across the top of the vehicle at about 45 to 50 degrees no, 
No, no, no. If I'm going to do a snorkel, it'll just be your bog standard safari snorkel. All right. Um, I know that the rate. Oh, I've nearly gone A over T there. I know the rage now with some people is to put the stainless steel pipe in and have it face backwards, especially with diesel. So you don't get that massive rush of air induction noise coming down through your snorkel into your airbox. Not so critical with the petrol motor, but nevertheless, if I was to get a snorkel, it'll just be your bog standard traditional safari snorkel, all right? And then what you would do is you either bring it all the way to here and come back up that way, or you can see where it goes into my body, all right? So you'd put the hole around here. And then you just get rid of the air inductor here and put the um, snorkel straight into here and then, you know, bung it in through your air inbox, your air intake pipe straight into the air box. So that's sort of, that, that would be nice, but I don't have the cash to get that. And um, so I haven't got it yet, but a custom air box with a pod filter, no, I, I'm a bit over that. Okay, I don't need that type of thing. I'm too old to do all this whole, I know, 39 years old and I'm saying I'm too old. I'm over this whole, you know, modifying and all this stuff. Not only is this my recreational vehicle, re really going off-road, this is my daily driver. So I don't need it to, you know, be a super high performance and modified and stainless steel and chrome and all this type of garbage. I don't need that. I've done that with my past vehicles, not with this beast. So there we go. Bit of a quick 80 series video. Don't forget, coming up later today here at Backyard Tech, we will have an IT acquisitions video for you as well. Enjoy your Friday, guys. Cheers.